Hi there, it's Black Bright talking about the darker side of Love Island. This um, if this series on Love Island is not for my serious um, subscribers, it's for my light-hearted subscribers, the ones who like to know about relationships and all that kind of stuff. So, we're on day three, and what's happening now? We have um, Mike who has chosen Jess and he slept with Jess for the first night and he was talking to the guys about how the date went and he said there's lots of jokes, lots of light, lots of laughs and he really wants to get to know Jess. Meanwhile he decides okay I'm going to have a little chat to Leanne, see where her head's at. So he takes Leanne um, over to wherever he takes her and he has a chat with her and he's telling her that um you know, he's had a good date, as if a girl wants to know that, they don't want to know you've had a good date, you know, I think, anyway, let me not jump the gun, he says he's had a good date, and of course Leon's heard that he's been complimenting her, now, it's totally different when you tell a woman that you're totally into her, and then you're giving compliments to someone else. Either you're into the girl or you're not. It's no point getting into someone and then saying, oh, we haven't, we've only known each other 24 hours. I want to keep my options open. If you want to keep your options open, keep your bloody options open. But don't tell a girl that you're all into them and, you know, you're, you're putting all your eggs in one basket. I mean, Mike didn't say that. That was Ollie. But the fact of the matter is, they're seeing these women, they're saying, oh, my head's not going to turn. And they've only been in there a day or two they haven't got a clue of where their head is at and what peed me off is that you know after he's skinning up with um jess he's saying to leanne um oh you know i really like you i still want to get to know you but for some reason it feels to me like he keeps juking her it's almost like he's trying to get a reaction from her because what he's saying to her is not very pleasant. If you listen to what he's saying, he said, he said, what did he say? Okay, he admitted quite openly that he complimented Jess. Okay, and it's almost like he's expecting her to say, oh, so why did you compliment her if you said you like me? But she was cool. Then he said, um, if you don't want me to sleep in the bed with Jess, just tell me and I won't. As if. What is the point of that? He's full of crap. Then he says, um, what did he say? Yeah, I think he was just talking about it was a good day. But my point is, is that he knows that Leanne likes him. And yet he's saying things as if he wants her to react. I really believe that the only reason he wants Leanne back is because she hasn't reacted. She hasn't got an attitude like um, Shauna. She's just played it totally cool. And she speaks to him when he calls her. And so he thinks, oh, yeah, you know, she's not a bunny boiler. I'm all right with her. And then he's talking about now. Oh, he's looking forward to the little hugs. And can they get back to where they left off? Him lucky. Fact of the matter is, I mean, I mean, Leanne is really good. She's really, really good. But there again, she likes him. But he's saying to her, his head's not going to turn. It didn't even take a day for his head to turn. So why is it not going to turn now? Like I said, you know, I think Leanne, she's very cool. And I think that's the only reason he's saying, oh, you know, I missed her. How could every time I'm looking for her, I can't find her. And, you know, when, um, what did he say? Um, when you miss somebody, absence makes a heart grow fonder. But the fact of the matter is, you've been in there 48 hours. 48 hours. 24 of those hours was with Jess. So what do you mean absence makes the heart grow fonder? I think he's full of crap. I think he's one of these... I like to think that he he really um, means what he says. I would like to think that. I'd like to think that he genuinely likes Leanne. But there's something about the way he tries to provoke her or test her that is a bit, that has some kind of unsettling undercurrents. 
I'm not quite sure because I think if you care about somebody and you like somebody, you're not going to tell that person, oh, I had a good day. And it's not like he said it once. He said it more than once. And he wouldn't kind of openly say, oh, yeah, I paid her compliments without kind of saying, yeah, I said she looks nice, but I've also told you you look nice. That is the way I am. But And he does, that is probably the way he is because he has said that she looks beautiful to kind of balance it, you know what I mean? But I'm still trying to kind of understand where he's coming from, understand whether he's a genuine guy, because like I said, you know, they've only been in the villa for 48 hours and, you know, you, you cannot know who you're going to like. They've seen the show before. All you've got to do, I know you've got to couple up with people, but just be up front. All the girls are asking for is to be up front. All they've got to say, for me personally, if I was in the villa and you've chosen me, you can say to me, I've chosen you, you're the best out of the bunch, but if somebody else comes in who I click with, I'm going to go. It's not going to feel good. You're not going to get your end off with me, but you can't have your egg cake and eat it. But they want their cake and eat it. They want to come in to the villa, choose someone, couple up with somebody, get a feel around and see what's going on underneath the, underneath the bed sheets. And then if that woman doesn't click, you know, they're gone. And then it's very unlikely. And some of them, even when they do click, they're gone. And the couple who seem a bit more serious are getting all the grief. Like Ollie, I mean, he's got a bad history, but he seems to be quite serious. But once again, it's always the women who are giving them a hard time that they seem to leave the other women for. Their eyes do wander, but then they gravitate to the woman that he seems to be giving them a hard time. So like Paige, she's telling him off for not telling the truth. And she's telling them up front, I can't deal with your lies, I can't deal with your BS. Because on the one hand, the guy's saying, I'm putting all my eggs in one basket, this is Ollie. The next minute he's telling Shanice, oh, you know, I wouldn't mind um, getting to know you as well. It's you and Paige that I like. All he's got to say to Paige is, look, I've seen you, I've seen Shanice. I like you both, but I prefer you. Tell the girls up front. All those girls, when you're listening to those girls speak, all they want is the truth. That's all they want. But these men, they're just in there. They're just lying through their bloody teeth. They're forgetting they're on bloody TV. And you know what's going to come on? They're going to have a task and something's going to come out. So I don't know what's happening with um, Leanne and Michael. I'm really rooting for them. I really am. I really want them to kind of make it work because I think they're a very, very handsome couple. But he's got to stop the bullshitting and he's got to stop. He's got to take his policeman hat off and talk to her like she's, mind you, she don't even seem to mind, to be honest. But it's almost like he's investigating. You know what I mean? Trying to get beneath, you know, that kind of, when they're trying to get beneath and try to find out what makes people tick. And that's what I feel he's doing at the moment. And I think with the girls, they're too um, open. So there's nothing to dig. There's nothing to look for. But he finds Leanne mysterious. So that's why he's kind of inquiring and trying to find out a little bit more about her. Anyway, we're still on the... I think it's the third day, is it now? I think, yeah, I think it's the third night in the villa. So, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. But, yeah, at the moment... Um, everything's going pretty cool. Naz is in kind of in the background. He doesn't seem to be making any strides. Um, yeah, so was there anything else I wanted to say? Oh, yeah. He was saying, he told Jess that he's 51% leaning towards Leanne. Her bloody face. I mean, she was so bloody cocksure, wasn't she? But the fact of the matter, giving credit where credit's due, he was honest with her. He did say to her, look, I like Leanne. You know, and I do still want to get to know her. And I don't mind if you pick me. He was pretty honest with her. He didn't really tell her any lies. But I think she was so bloody cocksure of herself that she thought she had him. But somebody like Mike Boateng, I don't think he's really going to go for somebody who dresses like that. 
I mean, really, the way those twins dress, they need some kind of um, guidance. You know, you don't have to have it all hanging out. It's not necessary. And I think from a man's point of view, you know, from a quick glance, yes, yeah, sexy. Mm, mm. But then when they don't match up to that sexiness, it's boring. And I think what happened is I thought Mike, like I said yesterday, I think Mike thought he was going to get his end off with her because she looks kind of really, really sexy and, you know, she was all into it. But they ain't stupid girls. They're bloody intelligent. So they ain't going to give it off. If you like them, you like them for what they are and how they look, not what you think you're going to get because you ain't getting squat from them. So he's almost jeopardised with Leanne. I think she might give him two more chances if he's lucky. And then that's it, really. Bye.